Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to talk about two of the important Python modules. One is debugger and other is time it module. Okay. So I am going to show you some demo on how these modules are very, very useful and why you should learn about these modules. Okay. So let's go to my Jupyter notebook guys and try to write some Python code snippets. Okay. So I am going to say x is equal to 3, y is equal to x plus 4 and z is equal to let's say 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, uh, uh, let's say I write a statement here saying s is equal to y plus z. Okay. And then I run it. So obviously I was expecting an error here. The reason is I am trying to uh, pass a plus operator between a list and an integer. So uh, suppose you want to debug this piece of code. Okay. So uh, how would you typically do or you know I also used to do before is I will see what is there in y up to this moment because after this moment only the error came right and I will see what is there in z. Okay. And I rerun this, I see, okay, uh, this is 7, y, and this is like a list 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me try to create it to a list and maybe then it will work. Okay. But uh, another way of doing that is I will go ahead and import something known as Python debugger module. Okay. That is PDB, Python debugger. Import this module, remove both these statements. Okay. Come here and say pdb dot set trace okay and then run this what you will see here is one box is opening where it will tell you what is there in all the variables okay for example you can come here and say what is there in y okay what is there in z okay what is there in x okay so all those variables it will show here and then you know you no need to write multiple print statements. So this code is a simple code as of now guys, but uh, imagine there are many variables, there are many operations happening, right? So uh, you can't write a separate print for each variable, each step. So if you set a trust, then you can see up to that step, what is the position of all the variables. So that is where your Python debugger module is very, very useful. Now what you can do, obviously we don't need this. And we will come here and convert that as a list and then it should work fine, right? So now if I say here S, I can see the value in S, okay? So that is one part of it, guys. Other thing is uh, how to use time it module, right? Suppose this code snippet, right? If I ask you how much time this code snippet is taking to run, so what would you do, guys? Uh, what what it is general approach is I will just compute the time before execution after execution and uh, you know take the difference for example I will come here and say import time and I will say here start time is equal to start time is equal to time dot time okay and I can say towards the end of the code end time right end time is equal to time dot time and then i can say time elapsed is equal to and time minus start time so this is a generic approach of you know uh, how we capture the time taken during a part of the code run right so this is time elapsed now we can see the time elapsed here in the same block also we could see so this is the time elapsed right now uh, let me try doing something using two different ways just to show you the importance of how time elapsed is very very important thing from performance point of view and how we can capture it using time it module okay so i'm writing here a function guys def func one okay it will take a number n and what it will do is it will return you it will return you i by 2 for i in 
RNG range n okay and then I come here and I run it with number 10 for example what it will do it will give you 0 to 10 all the numbers and half of those numbers okay and same thing same thing whatever I am doing here I can do using func2 where I will not return directly here rather I will store it in a temp list temp list is equal to this and I can say here return right return that list itself so what is the difference between func1 and func2 in function 1 you are returning directly the list here you are storing in a variable and returning the variable so from output point you will not see any difference between these two okay but from performance point there may be a difference now since we are passing a small number let's pass a big number okay uh, and compute the time basically that is what i want to do here so what i will do is i will copy this entire thing and i will replace the code block with func1 okay so copy everything and this part only will be func1 with a bigger number okay so this will be func1 with a let's say little large number and then you can see what is the time elapsed okay and same thing we will do for func2 here same thing we will do for func2 here okay or there only we can see so that we can compare right so func1 how much time 0 0.001 let us let's increase two more zeros how much time 0 0.48 func2 how much time 0 0.45 so you can see there is a difference between the performance though both the things you know both the functions are returning the same thing so the idea here was to show you that uh, in general how do you capture the you know performance of your code but there is another interesting way to do that and that is where i am going to tell you how time it module works okay suppose you import a module called time it okay import this module and then you come here and say time it dot time it and inside this you can pass your code any code and it will tell you how much time it is taking for example uh, a random number i am giving multiplication something so how much time it is taking it will tell you so it takes these many seconds now this uh, time it dot time it you can do more activities guys i am pressing shift tab and i want to see the signature of this function if you can see here you will see it can take a statement and it can take a setup and it can take a number where how many times you want to run that okay so suppose the same function you want to run 100 times and compute the average so if you run this function right one more thing i want to show you here interesting thing guys so func2 0.45 if once more i run it right it will change see it is changing if one more time i will run it it will change one more time it will change so it depends on kernel performance at that point of time and also the a little bit of system performance at that point of time okay so what is this n here in the signature i was showing you is suppose you want to run that code 10000 times or 100 times and you want to see the average performance so that is where this big number is here okay but in general how do you pass things here is you have to declare something on a statement okay and in statement you will say what is that you want to do for example i want to run func2 these many times okay not these many times with that argument so i will say like this and i will say what is the other other statement that i want to see come here how how do you pass your code here setup okay so in setup whatever you give it will take that as a code input so setup will be again in three quotes you have to give and here you can give your func2 because the definition it will take from here only so you can come here and you can say func2 so both these things are declared now so you can come here and time it dot time it you can run your 
statement okay and set up and you can tell how many times you want to run and see the average it will give you the total you can just see here okay for example if once i run it i have to say number is equal to 1 okay so if i run it once right it takes 51 0.51 not 51 0.51 seconds okay suppose i want to run it five times how much it is taking time 2.65 so average is 2.65 divided by 5 now suppose i want to run it 50 times 50 will be it will take little more time so 1 5 i will say 15 okay whatever time comes here right you divide it by 15 and then you will know how much time it is taking on an average in one run okay and here the traditional way of seeing the time elapsed is you keep running this you keep running this you keep running this but obviously uh, as you are, you would have noticed by now time it is a better way of seeing the performance of your code snippet you can write some snippet see the performance okay so these are some of the important things guys that will help you in your day-to-day -day python work okay that is where i'm covering these things i hope these things are useful guys please give me a thumbs up if useful and drop me a comment how do you utilize these things drop me the comment on which topic you want python video specifically i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care